Exodus chapter 4. Mah, sah, qi is the note for verse 2. And sheshi is there instead of in the margin. And Moses answered and said, But behold, they will not believe me, nor hearken unto my voice, for they will say, God is now in verb, hath not appeared unto thee. Now you can say caused an appearance, because we're certainly not limiting the idea of God. So, um, are caused a theophany, a hierophany, but we could also look at this in relation to light, tamed by the power of God as noun and verb, subdued by the power of God as noun and verb. So we're talking about, you know, light, you know, because like not all light bringers, if there is light at all, so either it's not a light or... Uh, so that, that was their accusation. And God as noun and verb said unto him, What is that in thine hand? And he said, A rod. And he said, Cast it on the ground. And he cast it on the ground. And it became a serpent. And Moses fled from before it. And God as noun and verb said unto Moses, Put forth thine hand, and take it by the tail. And he put forth his hand, and caught it, and it became a rod in his hand. And Nutchus, same word here, used as um, with the story of Joseph. So it could have a further sense than just a snake in that one too that they may believe that God is noun and verb divinity, God of their fathers, the deity of Abraham, the deity of Isaac, the deity of Jacob, hath appeared unto thee. And God is noun and verb said furthermore unto him, Put now thine hand into thy bosom. And he put his hand into his bosom, and when he took it out, behold, his hand was leprous as snow. And he said, Put thine hand into thy bosom again. And he put his hand into his bosom again, and plucked it out of his bosom. And behold, it was turned again as his other flesh. And it shall come to pass, if they will not believe thee, neither hearken to the voice of the first sign, that they will believe the voice of the latter sign. And it shall come to pass, if they will not believe also these two signs, neither hearken unto thy voice, that thou shalt take of the water of the river, and pour it upon the dry land, and the water which thou takest out of the river shall become blood upon the dry land. And Moses said unto God as noun and verb, Oh my, God is noun and verb. Well, we'll see which is actually used, but I am not eloquent, neither heretofore, nor since thou hast spoken unto thy servant, but I am slow of speech and of a slow tongue. And God is noun and verb said unto him, Who hath made man's mouth, or who maketh dumb? Are the deaf, are the seen, are the blind? Have I not? Have not I the Lord? Oh. Have not I God as noun and verb? Okay. Dumb, of course, is in someone who can't speak. So, now therefore, go, and I will be with thy mouth, and teach thee what thou shalt say. And he said, O oh my, God is noun and verb, send, 
I pray thee, by the hand of him whom thou wilt send. And the anger of God is known, and Bird was kindled against Moses, and he said, Is not Aaron the Lewite thy brother? I know that he can speak well, and also, behold, he cometh forth to meet thee. And when he seeth thee, he will be glad in his heart. And thou shalt speak unto him, and put words in his mouth, and I will be with thy mouth, and with his mouth, and will teach you what ye shall do. Because, remember this, you know, God showing, it, it's that, it's that, God specifically bringing this about so that a person can teach. It does. There could be an angel with it. It could be whatever. Um, because there are epiphanies and hierophanies and all that. Um, of course, these words are kind of kind of dumbed down, right? Um, like even inspiration and revelation, people are using those in secular sense, but. Epiphany and Hierophany definitely um, aren't non-spiritual terms. And he shall be thy spokesman unto the people, and he shall be even as he shall be to thee instead of a mouth, and thou shalt be to him instead of God. And that's, that's an odd saying right there. Um, for while well, you shall be unto uh, uh, one that he joins with for the sake of divinity see some things are cleared up when you look at what, what it says um, in Aramea and thou shalt take this rod in thine hand or with thou shalt do the signs and Moses went and returned to Jethro, his father-in-law, and said unto him, Let me go, I pray thee, and return unto my brethren which are in Egypt, and see whether they be yet alive. And Yetru said to Moses, Go in peace. And God has known in Burm, said unto Moses in Midian, Go and return and to Egypt. For all the men are dead which sought thy life. And Moses took his wife and his sons and set them upon a donkey and he returned to the land of Egypt and Moses took the rod of divinity in his hand and God as noun verb said unto Moses, When thou goest to return into Egypt See that thou do all those wonders before Pharaoh, which I have put in thine hand. But I will harden his heart, that he shall not let the people go. And thou shalt say unto Pharaoh, Thus saith God as known in verb, Israel is my son, even my firstborn. And I shall, say, and I say unto thee, Let my son go that he may serve me. And if thou refuse to let him go, behold, I will slay thy son, even thy firstborn. And it came to pass by the way, in the end, that God has known and Burb met him and sought to kill him. And Zipporah took a sharp stone and cut off the foreskin of her son and cast it at his feet and said, Surely a bloody husband art thou to me. So he let him go. Then she said, A bloody husband thou art because of the circumcision. And God is known in verb, said to Aaron, Go into the wilderness to meet Moses. And he went and met him in the mount of God and kissed him. And Moses told Aaron all the words of God is known in verb who had sent him and all the signs which he had commanded him. 
And Moses and Aaron went and gathered together all the elders of the children of Israel. And Aaron spake all the words which God has known in verb had spoken unto Moses, and did the signs of the sight of the people. And the people believed. And when they heard that God has known in verb had visited the children of Israel, and that they had looked upon their affliction, then they bowed their heads and worshipped. And can't help but think that that's some sort of ritual, right? Because among the ancient Egyptians, they had circumcision. And there's the idea that after the Exodus, that there was a group of Semites, which were later known as Israelites. I mean, you know, there's evidence behind this that didn't practice circumcision, but some of their neighbors did and the Egyptians did. And um, so I, I can't help but think that that's some sort of ritual for the circumcision, but, um, we on Mashah, we Amr, Watan, La, Yaminu, Ki, Wala, Yishmao Bakli Ki Yamru La Nura Alik Yahwah We Amr Aliu Yahwah Mazah Bidak We Amr Matah We Amr Hashli Kahu Artsa Wish Lakhu Artsa Wehi Lenchush Winas Mashah Mapnu We Amr Yahwah Al Mashah Schultz Yadak Watches Buz Nabu Wishlich Yadu Wich Zuk Boo Wehi Lamtha Bukpu Lam An Yaminu Ki Nurah Alik Yahwah Alhi Abtum Alhi Abraham Al he yet's chuck while he yakub. We amr Yahwah lu oud haba na yitak bachikuk. We ba yadu bachiku. We za. Or is it? See what's ah. Uh, probably. We what's ah. Uh, Wahnah you do. Matsrat. Kashlug. We amr. Hashab. Yitak. Al. We shab yadu al chiku we watza machi po wahna shabah kebshru wahyah am la yam yanu luk wala yishmao. Wakal hat Rashun wa Aminu Lakal hat Hatrun Wahya Am la Yaminu Gum Lushni Hatut 
هلها والله يشمان لك لك والقتشت مميمي هيار وش بكت هي بشا وحيو هم يم أشر تقتش من هيار وحيو لدم بي بشم وي أمر مشح ألا يح وح بي أدني لا إيش دبريم أنكي قم متمول قم مش لشم قم ماز دبرك ال عبدك كي كبد با ون بد لشون أنكي وي أمر يحوى اليو ني شم با لدم أو مي يشوم أوم أو ترش أو بقتش أو عور هلا أنكي يحواه واتا لك وانكي أحيا أم بيك وخوري تيك أشر تدبر وي أمر بي أدني شلتش نا بيد تشلتش ويتر أف يحوى بمشا وي أمر هلا أترن أتشيك هلوي يد آتي كي دبر يدبر هوا وغم هنا هوا يدزا لقراتك ورأك وش مچ بلبو ودبرت اليو وش مت ات هدبرين ببيو وان كي أحيا عم بيك وام بيحو وهو ريتي أتكم أت أشر تاشون ودبر هوا لك الهم وحيا هوا يحيا لك لبه واتا تحيا لو للهيم وات همبثا حزا تقتش بيدك أشر تاشا بو أت حتت ويلك مشح ويشب أل يتر جتنو وي أمر لو ألكا نا وشوبا أل أتشي أشر بمتسريم وراح حاودم جيم وي أمر يترو لم شا لك لش لوم وي أمر يحوى المشح بمتين لك شب متسريم كي متو كل هنشيم هم بكشيم أت نبشك ويتشك ويتش ويتش مش أت أشتو وات بنيو ويار قدم أو هتمر ويشب أرتح مترين ويتج مشح أت 
Matah Halhim Bidu Amr Yahwa Al Masha Bul Ktak Lashub Matsrima Rah Kul Hamapatim Asher Shamti Biduk Washitam Lepni Pra Wani Achzak at Labu Wadla Yishlich at Ham Wamrat Al Pra Ka Amr Yahwa Bani Bakri Yashra Wamr Alik Shulch at Bani We Abdani Watman Lish Lachu Hana and Ki Harg at Bunk Bukruk We he Bukruk Bamloon Weep Gushu Yahwa Weep Kush Hamitu what kutch tsapra tsar what kurt at arlet banah what ga lurg liu what ummer ki chitten demim Ta li Wirf Mamni at Amra Hatan Demim Lamutlet We Amr Yahwa Al Ahran Luck Luck Rot Mashah Hum Debra We look Weep Ashu Bakhur Halheem We shuck Lu Wigged Mashah Lahran at Ko Debri Yahwa Asher Shulchu Wat Ko Hatat Asher Tsohi We look Masha Wahran We aspu at Kul Sakni Bani Yashra We burr Ahran at Kul Hadbrim Asher Debur Yahwa Al Masha We ash Hatat Lyony Ham we Amen Ham we Shmau Ki Pukad Yahwa at Bani Yashral Waki Rah at Anim Wikdu Wish Tu and oh because of the removal because it doesn't it doesn't say the word that you expect for circumcision you're a bloody husband to me because of the removal <laughs> 